Oh my goodness, it's time for the offering. The plate is coming my way and I don't know if I have any cash. Let me see what I've got. Well, there's a couple of singles, but that's not really enough. Wish I had a 10, that would be perfect. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to give the big 20. You don't see many 20s in the offering plate, you know. I'm going all in today. You call that all in? That's what you spend most days on your fancy Starbucks venti mocha latte frappuccino double espresso extravaganza. Yeah, true, but it's the biggest bill in my wallet. Come on, you just spent $20 on Halloween candy at CVS. Yeah. But it is the biggest bill in my wallet. You went to the dollar store for five minutes and walked out with $60 worth of stuff you didn't even plan to buy. That's three times as much as what you're putting in the plate. But it's the biggest bill in a wallet. $20 is the sales tax you just paid on that Amazon order. Yep. It's not feeling so big now, is it? Nope. End scene. Welcome to Incarnation's 2021 Stewardship Campaign. I'll begin with a word about that $20 bill. Kinesthetically, a $20 bill feels like a really big deal when we have it in our hands especially when we give it to someone as opposed to making a purchase. Perhaps you've given a 20 to uh, someone on the street. I have, and it felt really generous. And it was generous, especially in that context of almsgiving. And it can be generous at church, but it all depends on your income. Uh, when it comes to uh, giving to the church, our theology is proportional giving. So those who have more are expected to give more. It's like a, a pyramid. At the bottom, we have many pledges or promises, com financial commitments to give the church a certain amount of money over the year. And those on the bottom are, are on the smaller end of the scale. At the top, there are fewer but those pledges up at the top will be maybe five figures. And this is why we encourage people to think about giving a percentage of their income when deciding how much to give to the church. The biblical percentage is the tithe, which means 10, so 10% 10 of one's income. That's what my family does. But for the average mainline church-going Christian, uh, it's, it's around 2%. So maybe that's where you want to start, but only if possible for you. We know that many are under financial strain in these times. Uh, that's why I will be giving more, uh, because I know that certain parishioners have to give less. And if you have a stable job and steady income, I hope you'll consider joining me in that. The point is that we shouldn't base our giving on what's in our wallet, but on our income and our assets as a whole. That's the moral of the story today, uh, the point of the stewardship skit. Now you'll be hearing more about our stewardship campaign, uh, not from me, but from parishioners who, like me, are so grateful to God that you are part of our faith community. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God.